What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, hopefully you guys watched yesterday's video. I'm just pulling it up really quickly. But yesterday, we pretty much covered everything we would expect to see happen in this upcoming week. Today's Sunday, so we pretty much are at the last day, the last couple of hours for us to close XRP's weekly candle and pretty much give us the decision as to where we could expect to see next week move to. Now, yesterday I made a video, as you guys can see here, basically showing you guys that this is pretty much our last hope in regards to where we could pretty much see XRP move to in the next couple of days. You can clearly see where we've bottomed out on three occasions here, mentioning bottom support, but we are also in a major descending triangle. So every time we pretty much came into contact with this bottom support, we saw a pretty substantial lift off and reversal to the upside here. But the problem is now, as we move closer and closer and closer, we're running out of time and room to continue to swing to the upside you can see the first time we had plenty of room second time plenty of room third time plenty of room fourth time there's not much we could see a run maybe to 73 cents 74 cents here but there's not much room compared to the original time where we could have shot up all the way to like 93 cents from its bottom support regardless we've now managed to consolidate all the way back down we have 11 hours left in this weekly candle because i do have the xrp charts pulled up and uh, we have to decide as to what's going to happen either we're going to break through here and dump or we're going to reverse off and see a pump to the upside here it's one of the two things that's what we have to plan for and that's what we have to expect now we're not just looking at xrp we're also looking at the descending fractal that's forming on ethereum here which clearly got rejected three days ago i believe this was friday um and we corrected downwards as well as bitcoin which is also in a descending fractal which corrected downwards we have to talk about that as well as the s p 500 which is closed obviously for today but opens tomorrow and that's pretty much going to determine everything as to the direction we're going to be seeing these markets move to in the next coming days as well as the next couple of weeks so very excited uh we're at a very very critical and crucial point within cryptocurrency now so we really have to spend a lot of time focusing on this as what's going to happen come next week is really going to determine what we could expect to see in the next coming months so it's going to be interesting i'm excited hopefully Hopefully you guys are too. With that being said, remember to join our Patreon that I have linked down in the description. That is where you can see all my cryptocurrency trades. Not only that, but I also have a beginner course where we talk about a lot of the key functions and uh, key terms that we talk about uh, in our videos day to day. So if you want to get caught up or just learn a little bit more, definitely make sure to check that out. I also post tons of different cryptocurrencies that I don't normally talk about or have time to talk about here on the channel because that would be like six video uploads a day. Uh, that's also in the description on my Patreon. So check that out. With that being said, though, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. First and foremost, guys, top 10 cryptocurrencies market is trading at 1.71 trillion down from like 2 trillion, uh, down 2.82% today. Overall, markets are down terribly. You guys know that. I mean, Bitcoin is not really doing too much, but it is pretty low compared to the other cryptos. Only down 4% for the week here. But we have cryptos like Solana, XRP, Terra, Cardano. Everything is down. Avalanche, Polkadot. Wow. Everything is down double digits for the week. 20%. You know, I'd say 12 to 20%, which is an insane number here. Now, really what we're focusing on today is the XRP chart here. There is going to be a trade coming very soon. As you guys know, and if you've been, you know, subscribed to the channel and watching the previous videos, you would know that everything comes down to how we react with this bottom support here. This is the price floor. It's textbook. Uh, as you guys like to, as you guys know, I like to use three uh, confirmations, which would determine a support, resistance, a trend line. As you guys can see, we have one, two, three, four. This is now reacting as the fifth uh, confirmation on this trend line. So it's here to stay. We know that. The problem is we're looking at things on the weekly. So there is going to be some time lapse that needs to take place before we can get a general answer here. Now, we could speed things up. We have 11 hours left in today, which would close the weekly candle. If, let's say today, we see prices, which probably won't considering the S&P is closed, so we don't see much movement on the weekends. Um, if we close today at like 54 cents or 55 cents on XRP's chart. If the weekly manages to close below this support here, then I'm going to be putting in a short position with expectations of continuing to dump. Now, consider the fact that the four hour charts are pretty oversold already and consider the facts that the daily charts are also pretty oversold. A lot of things are leaning us towards a reversal and a recovery in the markets for XRP. So I'd like to think that this is the bottom. There's a good chance we'll close today 
um, above this support, very, 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 very likely. Uh, I just want to check out the weekly here, or sorry, the daily here. You can see the last time we were at the daily, we were oversold here. We saw a lot of consolidation. This is like a week of consolidation on the daily, followed by a reversal. Uh, you can see we're oversold here. We're the exact same thing now, just like we were here. So if history repeats itself, which it's looking like it's going to do, this should be the bottom followed by a reversal, and this should be the bottom followed by a reversal. Now, there's other signs that lead us to believe in a long position because this is an Elliott wave, and you, if you start it here, you go zero, you go A, B, C, D, E. This is point E, the end of an Elliott wave, which usually implies a bullish run. So that's what I'm also expecting to see happen here. So there's a lot weighing on the fact that XRP looks like it's more bullish now and extremely oversold, uh, and we should expect to see a run. So there's a good chance we'll close today above here and then i would expect to see prices maybe start to venture up now it's not likely that i mean it is possible it's very possible because you can see we've had it in the past here uh you know next week is really going to determine the movements for cryptocurrency and that's what i'm really uh honed in on and focused on because the s p managed to close below this major support here so if the s p on monday continues to trend lower which it's very possible like this we could easily see us dump all the way down to like 3,900 points, and that would obviously imply XRP and these other major cryptos would do the same thing. Now, I do think I'm leaning more towards a bullish recovery, not something crazy, not an all-time high, but a bullish recovery here. So I do expect to see probably XRP, and this is definitely a moderate to aggressive trade for now. Um, ideally, though, each time we do this, we see a run. I would expect to see Monday start to trend upwards. So if you want to take a moderate trade, I would expect to see, and I might actually do this, I do believe we should see a recovery not what i wanted to open i should ex I, I do expect to see a recovery here and you can see i do have xrp pulled up on bityard our number one favorite cryptocurrency leverage trading website here and uh you know you can draw this trend pattern out on the weekly charts here you can easily scale it lower it's so beautiful it's so obvious it's so textbook if that makes sense to you guys like easily drawing a downtrend here you can see where this clearly is just like that and you can easily draw a horizontal line showing where the bottom support is just like this you can clearly see the movement that we're dealing with here so i mean this maps out pretty much the end i mean we're pretty much at the end of this you know we're going to see maybe some consolidation here i don't believe that's going to happen but if we close below here it's going to be a dump we break through you know we can either either capitalize off the small run here which is possible up to like 70 cents or if we break through big long position so the moderate trade would be here but obviously i'd be using a uh, bit yard to leverage trade uh you know xrp here which i have linked down in the description remember when you do decide to sign up they do offer a mystery box for you to earn some free cryptocurrency which is super cool but get ready to trade this possible moderate to aggressive trade like this coming you know tonight as we close tonight depending on how we close uh, monday should probably see a swing to the upside here obviously it's all dependent on the s p but there's a big chance we could see a small recovery like that very big chance we could see a recovery like that. We've seen the weekly candles in the past kind of consolidate and then typically follow by a run. Uh, so we'll see exactly what happens, you know, after we close. Everything comes down to how next week plays out. So if you want to play conservative, uh, I'm not going to trade then. But if you want to play moderate, I would expect to see a small recovery like that. Ethereum is also in a descending fractal. Like, how low are we going to move to? There's room for us to head lower, but these descending fractals typically have a bullish bias for a reversal. Bitcoin in a descending fractal, pretty much near oversold. Uh, they do have a bullish bias for a reversal, so I'm expecting that to happen too. S&P, extremely oversold in the daily. Typically, when we come into contact with bottom daily supports, look, we could just scale it out. Last time we were at the bottom, okay, it was right here. What happened? Well, we fell and we shot up, so... Very similar, we could do the same thing right now. So let's scale back a little earlier. Uh, right here, oversold. What happened? You can see here, we, we headed up. Boom, just like that. We can continue to scale this out each time we come into contact with oversold. Oversold right here, uh, October 2020 shot up so it's a similar pattern it continues to happen i like to think that we're very close and this week will pretty much determine the general direction we see the s p move to as well as cryptocurrency because we do see that correlation and that similarity be between the s p and cryptocurrency so i'd likely see i'd like to see how this week plays out as a conservative trader i'd really like to see how these markets play out this week and that will determine when and how and why we buy into these cryptos otherwise guys it's pretty much going to wrap up today's video definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe. Check me out on Patreon and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.